Hey Simleys, it's Dilly Grissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part uh, 14. Uh, part 14 is going to be a sad one, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is Judy's last part with us, which I feel like, yeah, it definitely is because she's sparkling, but she's asleep right now in bed. So that's, so that's really nice. I'm just going to check the last part and see what you guys had to say. Uh, what are the top comments? Okay, uh, Tyler said, I'll probably cry when Judy goes, but I know her ghost will return. I also feel like Judy will set up a surprise birthday present for Bailey, like a small shop bakery or an old tree house, something like that, and plan to give it to her as a birthday present. Aw, and even though she doesn't make it to Bailey's birthday to give it to her, uh, Bailey can find a book Judy wrote for her that has the address to her surprise in it. That's such a cool idea. I love that, Tyler. And then Trista said, Grandma Judy should start teaching Bailey about painting and pass down all of her skills. Well, we kind of were doing that. Um, and there's probably not enough time to do that now, but we did like, I think Judy got her the little craft table here. I think she would have done that for sure. And Willow said, I think Judy's room should stay like it is for a while after she passes. And when Bailey and Clarice come to terms with Judy's death, they can turn it into a painting room or a skill room. Um, and maybe Bailey can paint to come to terms with Judy's death. I like that. I like that. Well, there's a whole heap of really great ideas. Um, one thing I will do right now is we need to fix that sink. I know a lot of you guys get frustrated when I don't ca take care of a clean kitchen in The Sims. I just want to say in real life, I do... Uh, I do like to think that I take care of my own kitchen. I'm just not very good in The Sims. <laughs> also, I'm gonna delete uh, all of this camping stuff because we did lose a lot of money through buying all of this for our time away. So uh, let's just get rid of all of this so we have a little bit more money in the bank. What is this? Baked potatoes. That's so random. Why is it in, oh my God. Why is it even in our inventory? Oh my gosh, we're gonna be so rich. So rich. We could actually look into moving houses as well um, soon, maybe after another couple of weeks of work for Clarice. Uh, so if you guys want, we can have a chat about that or renovating. Uh, let's do a vote, actually. Let's vote to, yeah, vote. How about everyone votes if you would rather renovate or move to a new house? Uh, because for this place, like I do love this house. I've really enjoyed living in it. We could easily build up. Um, yeah, we could easily build up. Or I de deliberately left this space clear here if we wanted to keep that mid-century vibe in a you know, single story home. So yeah, all right. So Clarice is having a little bit of a cleanup time. Good stuff, good stuff. And I, I'm really worried that when Judy wakes up, she's gonna pass away straight away. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not ready. But I would really like her to write a quick little book for Bailey if she can. That would be ideal. I don't know. It's 1 a.m. in the morning though, so. Mm, let's just get Clarice to eat something. What's in here actually? Is there anything left? Uh, why doesn't she unpack sack lunch and have a bit of lunch for a midnight snack? 1 a.m. snack, I kind of like that idea. All right, yummy, that looks so good. Oh, except for the fact it's spoiled. <laughs> okay, let's not eat that because you will be very sick. Uh, let's open this up then and try for something else. Let's grab some of that. Oh, the ice cream omelets were in there, the ice cream shaped omelets. They have a lot of takeout in their fridge actually. There's like pizza boxes and Chinese boxes, takeaway Chinese. Uh, let's sell that fish too. I don't want that fish in her inventory. <laughs> How much are these paintings selling for, by the way? $100, not bad. What about this other one of the apple? That was, it. oh, for nothing? Hmm, interesting. Okay, Bailey's pretty hungry. Her energy is doing pretty well. And you know what? Let's get Judy up. I think it's time for her to wake and go to the toilet and have something to eat. Their sleeping is so out of whack, right? <laughs> Like it's 2 a.m. and they're fully energized and ready for breakfast. Maybe when they went camping, it was overseas. I don't know. Uh, Clarice, do you mind mopping that up once you've finished and then cleaning up your plate as well? That would be ideal. Uh, Judy, uh, you know what? Judy probably, did she just, oh my God. Clarice is suddenly feeling some serious upset stomach. She may have eaten something made with meat. Oh my gosh, I forgot the, their scrambled eggs has meat in it. 
Damn it. Sorry, Clarice. <laughs> Having been a vegetarian, I feel like I should have way more, uh, be way more aware of what I'm feeding Clarice. All of you veggies watching are like, oh my God, Deli, I'm never coming to your house for dinner. I would like these guys to converse just a little bit. Uh, you know, let's go for a hugging, a, a hug lovingly interaction. That would, that would make me happy. Cheer up, parent. Like, it's okay, Clarice. Okay, what's broken in here, the toilet? Ah, uh, Judy's getting too old to fix everything around the house, so I'm gonna just have to pay to fix it. Or Clarice's, rather. Yeah. And also, half of you guys were saying that this picture wasn't finished, so let's put that back here. I thought it was finished. I thought it was just like a headless portrait. I thought it was really creative. <laughs> but obviously not. All right. Oh, oh, what's going on in here, girls? Just having a little bathroom powwow. Talking about cupcakes. That's good. They need to have a little bit of uh, socialization. Become best friends again. I know you can only have one best friend, can't you? Which is kind of annoying because that means Bailey can't be best friends with Judy anymore. It's going to be a moment, you guys. Uh -huh. A moment by the shower. Oh, Clarice, you ruined the moment. <laughs> uh, oh, what? What is she doing? Uh, okay, let's just get Judy to come over here. Compliment her daughter's outfit. She's like, Clarice, I love when you dress a little bit more laid back. You look so nice. When you're not all dressed up, rigid in a suit and business clothes. They're talking through the wall. Oh my gosh, ladies, ladies, please. We don't have time for this. I just want Judy to have some moments. There we go. Oh, you guys. Now if we go to Bailey. Oh no, you can have two best friends at once. That's good, that's good. I thought that you couldn't hug lovingly. Oh no, no, you can't. Cause now Clarice, oh Clarice and Bailey have fallen out of touch as best friends. Oh gosh, I don't know. She's like, now make sure you look up to the garden, Clarice. I'm not going to be around forever. Oh, fine, Mom. All right, so I think Judy's going to go... Uh, let's get Judy to go do some work in the little office area over here. Uh, we want her to write a book. And we're going to leave something for Bailey. So she's going to write a book with instructions to Bailey of what she receives in Judy's will, which is really nice. And oh my gosh, she would totally write her will as a picture book because she can draw. And that would be so cute if a grandparent passed away and they gave their child, I mean their grandchild, a picture book to read. So it's they have it forever and they also get the information they need for when they're older to inherit whatever it is. That's so good. I'm totally doing that. Good night, nightlight. Oh my gosh, that's like the perfect title. Let's say to Bailey, how would you describe this book? Uh, a book for Bailey to read when the time is right. To help her along in in her hmm. to help her along with her exciting future. Love Grandma Judy. There we go. A book for Bailey to read when the time is right to help her along with her exciting future. Love Grandma Judy. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Let's hope she finishes it in time. Okay, it's 4.30 a.m. Bailey's still asleep, and that's good. Judy has acquired the writing skill. It'd be cool if they could illustrate the children's books oh. they wrote if they had the painting skill. I guess that's becoming a little bit um, a little bit too detailed for the Sims, though, perhaps. Uh, we still need to get Clarice's uh, skill, charisma skill, to level up a little bit. Um, oh, she's going to have a little bit of coffee. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. She could have coffee after going to the bathroom because her energy is a little bit down, but not too far down. Also, I actually learned that uh, I've actually gone off coffee. I used to drink a lot of coffee. 
Um, I know I talk about it a lot, but Melbourne is like known to have really good coffee. It's a massive part. Like there's a huge coffee culture here in Melbourne, (laughs) more so than any other city in Australia. And we have some really nice coffee places, Mm. but (laughs) I, I've gone off coffee now because I don't know, it was giving me like anxiety and I was Mm. getting all like shakes and stuff Uh from it. Like my body is just really sensitive. So I decided to say goodbye to it, which is so sad because I love it so much. And I have to say, I'm feeling a lot better for it. Like it feels good. Actually, you know what? I would totally love to have coffee again. I don't even feel better. I just know that I can't have it. And I'm trying to make myself feel better about the fact that I'm not having it. Oh, gosh. Okay. And now I'm watching Clor- What is... Is Clarice sitting on the ground to drink her... Oh, that's so cute. You know what, Clarice? I always sit on the ground. I love sitting on the ground. Okay. Judy. 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 Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Bailey's awake. She's like, good morning, Grandma Judy. Good morning, honey buns. I'm actually writing something special for you. Actually, you know what? Let's make this into a thumbnail. I'm just going to put some pink here. I'm going to take away this wall. You guys can get a view into how I make the thumbnails for this LP. Oh, I actually quite like a bit more pink wall bit more of a pink wall here uh and then we're gonna need some lighting i usually wouldn't do this whilst like filming an lp but i mean i've always been interested in behind the scenes with youtubers a bit so i hope you guys are at least a little bit curious okay this is a better shot there we go all right you didn't see anything it's all the same well, almost the same, probably if the shelves around the wrong way. Uh, okay, so Clarice is cleaning up. That's good. Judy's almost finished the book, hopefully. Nice one. She's really needing a shower, though. She's getting a little bit stanky. Uh, Bailey is in the best mood ever. It is Sunday. Maybe she could invite uh, over her friends today. Um, that might be nice. Although, really, I think we should be focusing on family time today. Uh, so maybe we could work carefully on a school project and her mum and Judy could help out. That's kind of a nice... Oh, oh, what was that? I missed it. No. That was a quick call. Oh, well. All right. So she's going to be chatting with Bailey. Good stuff. Getting that responsibility to go up just a little bit. And Bailey's... Oh, my God. Her responsibility is through the roof. Her manners are through the roof. I love this. I absolutely love this. What? Oh, I'm so proud. Okay, she's still got this childhood phase of being loud, which is really annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. I, they stick around for quite a while. The Sim is letting the world hear her voice. Oh, and Bailey has reached level five of the mental skill. Okay, that's good. Was that in any of her WizKids? No, she wants to play three games of chess, read with an adult for two hours. Uh, what an achievement. Judy finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. She can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Uh, we could... We could get it published. No, I, I don't think we will, actually. I think this is just for Bailey's enjoyment. So what I might do is actually put that into Bailey's inventory. So she's got it there. Or Judy could read it to her, but I feel like it's something that after Judy passes away, she would want her to read, uh, for sure. For sure. Now, we can... You guys told me in the last part, also, read to Chad is from a book in their inventory, which I really like. So that's good. Um, what we might do is get her to read to Bailey. Yeah. All right, well, let's stop that because Bailey and Clarice have plenty of time to socialize together. And we'll get Judy to read to Bailey um, this little bit, this little book, The First Unicorn, which is probably something special that Bailey would like to keep as well as a memorabilia of Judy. Oh, and we don't have the volcano one yet, so that'll be good to when she does finish it. Oh my god, Bailey. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Oh. Nice. Oh, and Clarice is there with another coffee. I feel like Clarice would have a lot of coffee. Oh my gosh, that was the quickest storybook ever. Oh no, it's okay. She's just taking a moment. 
Also, I love the detail of how the box is just placed next to, like, leaning next to this object as they work on it. Usually it would just disappear on The Sims, so that's pretty good. Clarice is more interested in the story than Bailey is. She's like, oh, I used to love this book when mum read it to me. <laughs> Who's at the door? Who goes there? Is this who I think it is? No. Tristan OTT. Over the top Tristan, eh? Invite in. Potential love interest. Okay. <laughs> I love how she peers through the door and she's like, Who is this? Hello. Uh, maybe he's interning for Clarice. <laughs> he's Clarice's new intern. Let's just go with that. Bright and day. I do love that she's in her pajamas at 11 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh. I, and I also like that Judy just continues reading, even though Bailey's like yelling and screaming. All right, we might get Clarice to go for a little bit of a run. She does like to keep healthy and fit. Uh, we'll get her to stretch outside before she runs, especially after a coffee. <laughs> nice. She is ambitious. So. She likes to be fit, she likes to feel good, and she likes to... Oh, that coffee didn't really help for very long, did it? Oh, reading time is over. Please read us another story, Grandma Judy. Please read us the unicorn book again. Do you know, Grandma Judy, that I'm an A student? <laughs> Praise good grades. That's very good, honey. You shouldn't show off, though, about it. Is there anything... <laughs> Let's ask about Faze. Maybe that will help Bailey get out of the face. The more you do to stop that face, the quicker you get out of it, maybe. The world needs to hear me. You can influence me to be quiet and discipl discipline me over loud actions. Just know the fire inside will never die. Oh my god. Do we really need to get to know our granddaughter even more? What happened to that book? I want to read the unicorn book again. Uh, let's see if we can do any parenting related to that just then. Ask about phase. Not really. There's not much that can be done. Let's open this up. What's another book that might be fun? Uh, science book. Boring. Orbital pudding. Hmm. A romance book might be fun. My pizza cat or polka seems like an appropriate reading to do. Although her moods... Oh, we should probably let her go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> no, it's okay, Grandma Judy. You can tickle. Please tickle. <laughs> oh, who else is over here? God, everyone wants to be a friend on a Sunday. Oh, I totally forgot to put this back where it was. Let's put that over here. There we go. There we go. All good. Tinkle time! You know what? Let's have something to eat for lunch. Let's serve lunch. And what do we feel like? We need something that Clarice can eat as well. A faux BLT. So it doesn't actually have real bacon in it. <laughs> this dollhouse is so awesome. I've been looking up a few dollhouses because uh, I'm going to be rebuilding the Barbie dream house soon. And uh, I'm... I'm I'm just so into dollhouses right now. And then this one just looks so awesome. I'm like, oh my God. Actually, maybe this should be the new Barbie dream house. It's kind of a bit ugly though. I think it's my cup of tea. Shut that up, Judy. Go, go, go. Oh, isn't it the worst waiting for a sim to pass? Because you have no control of when it will be. Very inspired. Well, she's in a good mood. <laughs> She's even loud playing with the toys. Clarice, can you please calm your daughter down? Forced to. Teach to say sorry. Forced to pee. Forced to eat. Forced to eat. 
Like, honey, oh, she didn't even eat what Judy made. That's just rude, Clarice. Your mum made a beautiful meal. I think Clarice's parenting would be definitely more stricter than Judy's. Like, honey, it's now time to eat. She's like, oh, okay. She's having the best Sunday in her gym jams. Gym jam Sunday. Love it. Okay, Clarice. No, don't. Don't eat that. Eat this. Eat the good stuff. Eat Grandma Judy's food. <laughs> good girl. She's putting it away. Look how many treats are in the fridge. Oh my gosh. I want to eat from that fridge. And what is with this? Does anyone actually have a screensaver on their fridge watching this right now? If you do, I'm impressed. Oh, I swear everything's breaking. Replace 68. $10,000 is actually a fair bit to be doing a um, renovation with. And you know, you're allowed to eat, Tristan. He's probably <laughs> the new intern that's too nervous to eat though. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye, Tristan, OTT. Are you gonna eat whilst playing with toys? <laughs> that is so realistic. I'm just gonna sit outside. Good, good. Well, maybe Judy should have a little bit of a nap. Nap on the couch. Nap time, she's definitely very elderly so she could have a little sleep. And uh, Clarice is definitely needing a little bit of a Sunday siesta as well. Nap time for everyone. Except for Bailey. Bailey's just gonna have fun. Maybe we'll invite Bailey's friends over. Let's let's get a club gathering happening, Bailey. Let's start your gathering. Kitty club gathering has started! Yay! Yo! And yeah, I can see that lamp right there, you guys. <laughs> All right, can we um? Let's put that away, shall we? Yay, all the kids are here. Awesome, you guys. Let's uh, work carefully on that and hopefully all the other kids will help out whilst the parentals have nap time. Hey, guys. Where's Sylvia? Where's our BFF? Oh, she's out here. She's arriving fashionably late. Hey. Hey, Elliot. No! <laughs> Travis, no! This is kitty club time. Oh, they're all playing with the dollhouse. Can we ask him to help, please? Ask for help with Project. Come on, guys. It's gonna be a team effort. There we go. I think we can get all of them helping. Sylvia's... Who knows what Sylvia's doing? I feel like Sylvia's just like the weird kid in the group. <laughs> She's just like, she just does whatever she wants. Look at those space buns. Oh, I love this. This is adorable. Yay, they finished the school project. Oh, that's awesome. That is a cool project. So her grades would have gone up, but not that that really matters though. Maybe we'll put it under the table here. It doesn't matter because our child is already perfect. <laughs> so that school project can go under there. Beautiful. Just playing around with the toys. Nice one, nice one. Hey, let's maybe brighten his day and get a little bit closer to Max. Knock, knock, joke. Having a little bit of funsies there. <laughs> and Judy, how is her energy going? Oh, yeah. She won't sleep tonight if we don't wake her up now. I think that's the same with Clarice. Yeah, we'll just wake them up. Maybe Clarice can have like a sixth coffee for the day. <laughs> All right, grab a drink of that. Judy. Uh, Judy probably needs to do some gardening, actually. Let's get her to go over here, do some weeding, do what she loves best, harvest them all. Ooh, actually, we can evolve. We can evolve them. There we go. <laughs> what is she reacting to? <laughs> These guys get along nicely. I think also I should age up all of the kids. I think they all need to be aged up. Well, it looks like Judy. Judy is still going strong. Like she is, she's not bailing on us just yet. And this part, I've actually been recording for half an hour. I might cut it back to like 25 minutes, which is what 
I usually do. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I might actually leave this part right here with Judy doing some gardening. I'm surprised. She's a strong woman, you know? Um, she ain't going anywhere yet, so let's just let her do the gardening. We'll finish this part right here. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to happen next, of course. And yeah, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.